I think we've all seen those flyers. You know, those flyers, the ones that look like this and this and that and that one and this one and that one and I think that we can just do a lot better than that with very minimal effort from the Kittle templates page we're gonna click on marketing and then we're just gonna scroll over until we see flyers right here and we have a loads of awesome flyers to choose from I'm just gonna go through here and pick out a few of my favorites I like this one a lot this looks like a real estate flyer there's some kind of like uh, book club art related flyers here a little hiring flyer more real estate the real estate ones are are, are pretty big like real estate or uh, rental property kind of flyers rent a room finding leases and whatnot those are super super cool this looks like an art exhibit here there are quite a few pet flyers as well that look great and are sure to attract uh, some more attention. Another open house hiring flyer, more real estate, something like this I absolutely love. This is definitely, could be stylistic preference. Looks like we've got some opacity stuff going on here. Could come in here and change the colors of things to switch it up and really make it my own. I would wanna make sure that I'm doing something that can be printed here. If this is a flyer and I want to hand it out or post it somewhere, I would want to be able to print. I'm gonna go with white for this. And let's say I don't need this right here. Copy that little element right there. And I'm just gonna lighten this up a tad to make sure that we can see our text. And we could go in here, Kittle Design Shop for the date relatively the same. Come hang and design Berlin, Germany. Could edit our little link over here, www.kittle. So that one's pretty cool. I'm gonna go back to the templates page. I do like this conference uh, looking flyer a ton. This looks like a little photography workshop flyer. Super duper cool. Could say photography. And maybe we center that text and like that. Maybe it worked just a little bit better for this layout with that wording. This font is pretty dope. I like this Y. The way that this cuts off right here is pretty digital. You could say address, zip code, start at 11 a.m. And I could release this mask, get rid of that person. Let's say this was me and I just dropped the picture of me and that little clipping mask. And boom, I've got a photography flyer ready to go. Let's look at one more together. This one is absolutely awesome i love that this one's pretty cool i like this one as well i mean there's just absolutely tons of these this this one in particular i've seen this before and i love 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 this design little garage sale group of vector elements i mean the colors are just fantastic we've got a little qr code here like let's just say that we wanted this to be like a thrift store sale edit my little address put in what we have available the little date time call whoever for whatnot i mean this is just absolutely incredible we could you know if we wanted the offset of this to be a little more we could adjust that just super super easy to make this your own diamond shadow here is just genius this is just really 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 well done and that really is just the beginning i mean there are absolutely ton like, i mean this is crazy really really well done super professional and you just have a lot of different styles too that you can choose from that's pretty wild this is super creative with how the text fades into the blue not sure that would print but you could adjust the colors to to make it uh, cmyk this one looks like a movie poster, that's awesome. This is very, very trendy and quirky and fun. Love that, this is awesome, super professional looking. Another one of those wild collage looking ones. Lots of real estate, and this just only scratches just the, the very surface of all of the flyer templates that we have available. That's all for today's video. Make sure to like this video and comment down below if this was helpful. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. Feature updates, tutorials, design principles, design trends. We're working on some design reaction content that should be pretty funny. So yeah, I think you should just subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.